I'm guessing you're setting up All the right. stream right now. What's up, chat? How's it going? Playing against some Imperial Knights? Yep. Uh... Yes, we could. We should roll a mission, I think. This one is A. Take and hold Chilling Rain, is that good? Yeah. Cool. To be honest, I wish there was like this big objective one. Because I tended to design my army to be more on the aggressive side instead of just sit behind and shoot back. Mm hmm. Uh, so this is one, three, and four for layouts. So just number one. That is here. Um, cool. Oh, I played this one on this map earlier today. Nice. All right. Sick. It was me versus a guy that has played like Warhammer for the London TTS. Well, it was getting back into it. He was starting a uh, tenth edition again, so I decided to play with him. He played Raven Guard, and I was playing a few nights. I was playing a different version of this list. Essentially, everything except for the Warden was the same. I was playing a percept of that round. And to be honest, on the turn that he had, he had like an aggressive squad with a Foth Carry Biologic with the Bolter upgrade and. Chat, my Twitch is been fucked right now. Two squads of. Eradicators and uh, a Land Raider. I cannot Crusader, do a I think, prediction. Or last uh, Hurricane Bolt was on the side. Apparently. And he destroyed it in one, one turn. Let's refresh. Yeah, that caused me to go. Yeah, there's no prediction oh, yet. Holy shit. My Ow. Twitch is absolutely wrecked. Like, all my modules are dead. What the fuck? He won. Thanks. What? was surprising. All right. Uh, oh, and then this is Crucible or Search and Destroy. This one. Cool. Um, so I'll give you a quick rundown on my thing. Um, sorry, I have a technical problem right now, but it's, I don't know what to do here about it. Yeah, it's all broken. Oh, well. Um, so I have... Uh, four lil units of rubric marines so they're just Ooh. like oc2 boys who get rerolls on you if you're holding an objective um a big unit of 10 uh big mags himself two rhinos the rhinos have I, I have a special collider on them um to make them a box so they're not like they don't measure weirdly from the middle uh, i'll just ignore the little spikes in the front because they're kind of a nightmare um some cultists, which are just like scouty dudes. Uh, if you kill them, I, or they kill anyone, which is never, basically has never happened in the history of the world, uh, then I get a command point on a two plus, and then a bunch of characters. Uh, I've got a flux master. I've never played him before, but we'll see how he goes. Uh, he's just a little demon guy. He can deep strike, and once per battle round, he can turn one of his dice rolls, hit wound. Uh, or saving throw to a six automatically after rolling. Um, and then he, if he overcharges his gun, it's devastating wound. So he can automatically do like D3 mortals with it, or he can keep himself alive from saves. It's kind of cool. Uh, all the infernal masters, there's three of them, and one of them is going to be upgraded, which, whichever one it says in the tooltip, which is this one. It'll be red. Um, uh, ha they have like the same ability, but it's once per turn. So I can do it on mm -hmm. my turn and your turn. Um, and then they have like a cool flamer. It's 18 inches and they can overcharge it, uh, to do 2d6. Um, starts at strength six AP two, but the guy with the upgrade gets plus one strength and damage. So it goes to strength seven AP two, two damage. Uh, and then Araman who gives a unit plus one to wound, uh, an exalted sorcerer who has movement of somebody, uh, on a two plus at the end of my movement phase. Um, within 12 inches and or 18 inches in line of sight, so he, he'll run out and do the thing, and then he'll probably use magic spells to run him away. And then uh, just a regular sorcerer who makes my guys like kind of lone operatives, but 18 inches away. Mm. And that's what's up. That's what we got going on. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think I have any other. Oh, the this guy has an enhancement that lets him do rituals multiple times, or after other people have already ritualed. This is deal. Okay. Uh, with my list, I have a Knight Valiant as my warlord with the mysterious guardian, so which lets him do strike and rate deployments of battle. Mm hmm. Night Warden, in which I forgot to give him his missile pod. It's okay. He's got the missile pod. Yeah. Well, I forgot to do it in Battle Scribes, and now he doesn't have it on there, so... Yeah, he also has a missile pod. Is It's the indirect fire one, or the, uh... Indirect fire. Yeah. It's just, like, strength five, right? Uh... Yeah. He Thanks everybody in chat. Yeah, I apologize for the prediction. I don't know. Like, I wish I could show you my screen. It, like fire. it's just everything's broken on my Twitch, my Twitch dashboard. It's fucking nuts. He has the uh, aura ability that's like six inches to so add one to leadership, and I have three um, Helverins and three War Glaives. Sick. All right. Uh, we're gonna watch out for those little anti fly boys. I don't love that. Well. Okay. Um, I guess we can do attacker defender. All right. I'll get a three. Five. Let's make these guys different. So, um, I guess you probably want me to deploy first, I assume. Yeah. In the flame bee unit. These guys will go into a rhino. It will be the green one. Uh, and then the master, I think, will go. So, it's just the, the big missile for indirect fire, right? Yeah, just a big missile. Okay, so we can keep some dudes on the table. The Flex Master will deep strike. Ooh, it is auto. I sure hate it. Um, I think we'll attach Infernal Masters. It seems fine. Might not be fine, but we're going to do it anyway. And then I'll put the... Uh, Vortex guy and another dude into the rhino. Everybody else will be on the table. Right. Do we keep a unit on the table? No, this should be fine. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. And then I'm deploying a unit. So just put the cultists out in the front. If. A single knight has range on those guys. They are not gonna last. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's not. They're they're not. They're here for a good time, not a long time, for sure. Okay. Um. I don't think that they're gonna knight, live here for yeah, very long. Knight, yeah. My knight valiant will be going to deep strike. Sure. And the first guy will deploy will be a. Um, Catch this guy back in a little bit. Um. Also, I color coded the Helverins and Warblades. Cool. So I I doesn't I guess it can be confusing. Chad, I mean, there's no predictions. Helverins are <laughs> I red. I just can't do them. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> They're just broken today. Okay. Uh, I will place down, I'll do this Infernal Masters unit. Uh, I guess there is a little bit of danger. Can the deep, the Mysterious Guardian deep strike first turn, or does he have to start on the table for that? Um, deep strike first turn? There's nothing in the, uh... With it, it's well, it just doesn't specifically say when it has deep strike at the end of the opponent's turn. Blah, blah, blah. 
Yeah, it's just all it needs to be is just like nine inches away from you, I guess. Uh, yeah, so if he doesn't start on the battlefield, then he can't come in the first turn because he's in reserve. But he can pick up and then go into reserve, right? Yeah, it has to be on your turn and he can't be in engagement range. Yeah. So that, yeah, that would be the way to... If he wanted to um, jump first turn, he would have to start on the table. And then if I went first, he could hop end of my turn and then jump back down, start of your turn. Yeah. Um, I'm just putting these guys back here. I don't love that, but I don't know if I have any greater place to be. I could go here. And... Maybe I'm fine there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put a little bitty baby in it over here. I'm just a baby. I guess we'll be an inch off the wall so we don't get, like, wardened on the first go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. Do something like this. There's a rubric squad. All right. Streamlabs too, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'll put my all my like tools open. are broken. I can raid, and I can run an ad, <laughs> and I can clip, and that's like all I can do. <laughs> I don't know what's up. Cool. Uh, I'll just put the please don't shoot me guy in the back. Uh, I think he will hang out over here. Yeah, we'll just be behind the wall. There's not really any reason not to be like that. Like that. Okay. Maybe GW right. took control, Trish, and uh, broke everything? Is that the joke, chat? Chat, let me know if the audio is okay. I was going through other VODs and some of them, the audio was fucked. Literally, there are some that are like unrecoverable because the audio is so bad. And I really apologize for that. Sick. Uh, I'll do the disc sorcerer. And I think he's just gonna go inside this building for the first turn and then we'll decide what to do with him later. Okay. For Emperor first tier right goals. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, it was just yeah, like yeah. the audio levels between me and my opponent. Like, I was super quiet, and I don't know why. Um, and my opponent was super loud. Some of it's at, like, Discord. You just randomly get different audio levels on people. Uh, all right, I just have big stuff to go. I'm just going to do... This is the Flamer Rhino. I'll put the Flamer Rhino behind this wall. If I put it here... The lines of sight could shoot me from like this way, but that's probably okay. And you could towering this guy, but that does that. This was still lucky. Okay, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, no, yeah, we're just gonna go this way. We're gonna go like that. Okay. All right. My third. Uh, second war glaive. Another war glaive. Uh, uh, uh. One more glaive. Two more glaives. Three more glaives. Uh, I will put my less exciting rhino over here that seems fine okay i'm going for you to place down magnus magnus will wait until the last possible moment before his dastardly plans are revealed
Okay. Um, let's put this one to go. So you have just the warden left. If I put him back here, I think. Where would I? Where am I getting shot from? getting shot through here so you could shoot me with that guy immediately and that would be a disaster so we're just gonna go in the back like a brave soldier and not poke through the over the little corner there so he's hiding and i'm done all right so time for the war to be close go a, a war galip versus a, a war dead <laughs> I don't know if I... All right. Hello, Big, big Night Warden. Hello. Uh, <laughs> roll to go first, I guess. Yep. I get a four. Five again. Okay. Uh, so you're up. I'll lock my secondaries in. Sure. Click blue starting and... Uh, yeah, I just have to do a scout move first. So let me just do that with the cultists before you go. Um, are, I'm going to say those are going to be immediately be shut off. Yeah, I mean, unless we just pull them back here. Um, I don't think. Oh, it's your vow. Oh, yeah. Um... I haven't done that. I think I will do Reclaim the Realm. Okay, so plus one movement. Oh. So you move 11. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so That's can't... for the box spin ability, not for movement. Also, um... It has one, uh, Reclaim the Realm allows me to add ones to a model's move characteristic and allows me to add one to advance of charges. Yep. So we'll pull these guys behind the building with the scout move. At least make you work mm -hmm. for it. This guy should fit here. Yep, just outside the building. I think these guys can probably scooch back a little bit because they don't need to go that far to make room. Okay, do I have any wilds of abilities? Let's see. Night Warden's model. It Okay. okay. Are you doing tactical objectives? I'm. Yeah, I'm doing tactical objectives. More so, I'm doing the bombsman ability on one of my armingers. Mm -hmm. So. The bondsman ability will go to this Hullrin right here. Okay. I shall make green to the note that he has the bondsman ability. Okay. Which is subtract one to a damage characteristic of an attack. Yep. Okay, so onwards to Ooh. my objective. Behind enemy lines and cleanse. Oh, one of those is good. Yeah, to turn if there's two or more units harming Holy within your plans deployment zone, you can set your mission to achieve, you score four or five, blah, blah, blah. If only one unit's in there, then it's. Sorry. Too tempting to play knights um, or space is... marines. I am excited for the new Space Marine Codex. Like one one more units for your army. Okay, not that I tried to do a cool green screen thing today, chat. I'm like doing a bunch of upgrades to my my presentation. Okay. I think I'm gonna like shift my whole uh, like office area here and do a bunch of new stuff. You might be able to see 
behind me. I have like new curtains and stuff on the um uh in that doorway. Oh. So we're doing a ton. Um, but uh, the the stupid green screen caused TTS to lag. So the um, when it's a shooting phase, the the armor guard war wave here will be doing the cleanse action. Yep, you got it. And the help run on the home objective will be also be doing it. So this war wave here will move. Oh, okay. There we go. And then it'll move. Oh. It's cleansing this one over here. Jen. Warden will move. Oh. If you to do the toggle measurement. If you press escape when you're moving, it just goes back to where they started. If you need to like undo oh. while you're moving it, yeah. Okay. Um, you'll move just enough, or I think you can open fire on that unit over there. Uh, no. Yeah, they are not gonna. Uh, maybe, I don't know if there's a line through there. Um, this Alvin will move. Fuck, I want to buy ventures here and then move the rest of his team. Eight. So. And they go here. That's probably good enough, I guess. I didn't see that before, but I don't know if I would could have changed anything about it. I will advance. The uh, war wave at the bottom, so I can reach the other objective. Mm -hmm. Two inches. Three, four, seven. If anything you want to face knights, yeah, yeah I think the new space marines probably gonna be good against knights for sure. It's either so. Okay, um, trading. I want arms. Oh, it's for them. Venice shoots. Okay, so for the shooting phase, I think. Both of these guys can see it. So I'm going to have my Halvren fire everything he has into the Rubik Green right here. Well, he definitely can't see that guy. Yeah. Because uh, your line of sight's like that. Okay. Right? From your gun past the ruin. So it'll be like blocked like this. Oh, uh, okay. I presume my warden can see him. Yeah, I think he has like literally like I think maybe one millimeter between those two. I think if I was a little bit a little bit farther forward, he'd be out. But that's okay. Go for it. Okay, so he, he can just will... cleanse, right? So you have the both the objectives cleansed. He the this war glaive here is doing it, and the one am I? So... Yeah, it has to be no man's land. You can't cleanse the home. Okay, but so that's fine because yep. you have the the armatures anyway. You, this war guard, you'll get enough. Here. Yeah, no. Yep. Okay, so this guy will fire his Avenger Gatling. Can you fire any more of his guns right now? 
Nope, you cannot fire his Meltagon nor his Flamer. But he will use his um, Missile Pod to fire up the Pulpus Pine this hole. Sure, you got it. Since he is firing at something that isn't a vehicle or monster, he gets those same move. Cool. So, Gatling Cannon, 18. Hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Toughness, four, so it should be threes, I think. Yeah, hitting on three is a one on three is AP of two. Yep. So that is six AP of two. Okay. Two damage. Uh, I'll be in cover, so I'll have a four plus. I'll just roll five in case one hits the sorcerer, or I'll hit roll four, I guess, on the regular rubrics. So the flamer guys die on the soul reaper. He's okay. He's okay. So we lose the flamers. Okay. Okay, so the indirect. Yep, I do have uh, 10 models, so you probably blast for a couple. Yeah, so he's D6 plus 1, and you have 10, so that makes it D6 plus 3 instead. Yep. That is 4 shot. Or no, 5. Hitting on fours since I don't have line on sight. Four of them out. And I'll be wounding on threes, I'm presuming. T3. Yeah. You're strength five, right? So that would be threes. Yeah. Go on. Just two. No idea. Uh, I'm on fives in cover. Two of you guys die. Uh, I will just pull these two, I think. Okay. So I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any charters I can make just yet. The warden could could engage the cultists if he wanted, because he can touch them through the wall. Mm. And how much of the chart is that? From it's this? pretty easy. It's probably a five. Five and due to the old back at one subscribe. Oh, okay. he is in. There you go. So. Here. Okay. And you will be doing the uh, Thunderstrike Gauntlet sweep. Yep. Just eight attacks and threes, winning and twos. On twos. Five wounds, eight P of yeah, two. This is a six plus in bomb. Make one, so four guys die. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I'll swing back, I guess. Unless you have a consolidation you want to do, but I don't think you can get any closer. I don't think I can. Uh, Impulsive Archer can solve the outfit I might just. Well, yeah, you'd have to go towards them. You can't run away. If that's the case, I could try. Right, he's going to say what he Yeah, pretty tough. Uh, here's my mighty attacks. Take this. Mighty attacks. Do I have one inch or two? I have. Oh, it's actually two. That's exciting. Hit wounds on sixes. Nope. A whole lot of nothing. I uh, can't consolidate, so that's where I'll stand. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I think yeah. It for the fight phase. So for cleanse, I score five on. But for behind enemy alliance, I think I'll discard that for a Love it. All right, uh, let me get myself a counter for my Cabal points here for doing wizard stuff. Uh, I will draw my cards at the start of my turn. 
I have bring it down and assassination. Okay, well, all right, warden. I guess it's up. We're going for you. Um, it is the only character. A little bit awkward that you are not uh, on the objective now, but that's okay. Uh, I'll choose devastating wounds for my special ability. Uh, just to punch through your inbound save. Grab my cards. So all my psychic weapons will get devastating wounds. Psychic weapons. That's this one. We'll just put it over here. Okay. Uh, and then we're off to the races. Um. So uh, how many cabal points do I get? We'll take some battle shock. These guys are not quite below half, but these guys are. They are okay, though. I'll get uh, four points for Magnus. Three points for this unit that's on the table. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Cabal points, I believe, is the count. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. And then we're deciding what to do. Um, I think we will probably... Yeah, just shoot at this warden a bunch of times is probably the answer. Uh, the warglaive over here. I certainly think he a guy. Did... Out of sight, probably you guys. I think the only thing that could hit him is this rhino right here. Well, I'm going to move first. Um, let's see what we want to do. I think we might just give you a bunch of DPs because there's not much I can do about it right now, and then we'll deal with the stuff later. Um, so I will fall back. God, cat, cat, stop! I will fall back. With the cultists, sure. Go this way. Yeah, we're just going to go this way. It's going to go around you, like four and two to go here. And then I'll just have to pull this guy back to maintain coherency, I think. Um, the let's see, the rhino here, I think, might just disembark the team. Yeah. So here's a regular unit jumping out. Three inches. I have 11 cabal points. Uh, Interesting. Uh, put this guy in the back. He doesn't need to be in the front. This guy can also go in the back. And this guy can go. Uh, so that's the disembark. They'll move. I think they're just gonna go. <laughs> I think they're just gonna go over here. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably oh, fine. The first one, we have to put this other, this rhino over here. These guys are doing an okay job at doing some screening, which is probably fine. They'll just, I think, stay put where they are. Uh, I'll disembark the second unit. 
we don't want to do is just get reamed by the armagers, so we'll probably just... The, they have 13 here. inches of their bolts. Yeah. And when I was making this list, my general thought is, what if we had knights, but they can be straight? That is what that enhancement does. Uh, Alright, so let's put yeah. that there. Uh, I'll advance this thing, get it out of the way. Actually, yeah, it's just in the way right now. 16. We're going to go around the corner here. Here's 4, and here's 12. Uh, we'll just go like that, just as we're screening. Um, Magnus. It is your base five. Stick that guy and get a line of sight. So Magnus is going to peek out like this, I think. I don't have any way to do that, so I'm just, I'll just stand in this piece of train and we'll peek over here and look at the Valiant, or the Warden, sorry. Uh, and then this Rhino, I think we'll do just a normal move. Yeah, 12 inches, so I think you can do it. Like to, maybe we should have gone this way with the Cultists, now I'm thinking about it. Um... Multi-ass, you did yourself finish them up for a dark so. Uh, we're not we're not quite getting destroyed by the the valiant just yet. Uh, so I think. Oh, oh you're going to. What I'll do? Yeah, I'd love I to show that mod. I'll say this, you are going to get destroyed by the Valiant. Uh, if you cannot stop it. <laughs> we can, we can made, mitigate it a little bit. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is get this dude dead, but then I get shot a bunch and I'm sad. Maybe we just shoot the Armager Elvrin and then we feel okay about it. Yeah, that's not too bad. So I think the Hellbrands are like dramatically more dangerous to me than the Warglaves are. Um, so that might be the game plan. So I will... The, uh, the Hellbrands are more dangerous? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, like light years more dangerous. Um, to be honest, I did try to make them more so and they contribute to the amount of shots they can do. Yeah. And the Warglaves are meant for more anti-vehicle-ish purposes or... So 12 inches from this guy is like here. If I just peek this dude around, that's nine, three more. Yeah, it's not great. I have a lot of room here to put my guys there. Uh, um, that's okay. I will just... I'm gonna just disembark uh, the team. What's up? You know the uh, Thunderhawks you see um, Space Rings use? Mm hmm. When they were first introduced, they were not well liked, like at all. They were good at their job, yes, but they were more so. They weren't liked because they weren't comfortable for whatever reason. And they had like another design. Of I forgot what it was. I think it was like Stormbird or something. I know. It was a more popular design at the like Forest Heresy and afterwards. Okay. And there was a Ultramarine that theorized that it was going to be a placeholder design. Yep. He did not realize how far the Imperium would fall to the point where it became a standard for any Space Ring chapter to do any sort of rapid assaults. Silly Imperium. With all their airplanes. I didn't even get any airplanes over here. Uh, all right. I'm just going to do this. I think. And we might just move twice. Okay. Uh, we'll call that. They disembark. These guys will move. 
Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I will spend a CP to overwatch that unit. Okay, with the Helbrin? Nope, Warden. Uh, you can't overwatch with the Warden. So he's Titanic. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, try to overwatch with the Helbrin. Sure. So, eight shots of his two main guns. They are, I believe, hitting, well, sexes, but they are strength nine, AP one, damage of three, so they'll be wounding on twos. Yep. Rip. No joy! Um, uh, I'm gonna steady stubber. I think you're in rapid fire range of it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely rapid fire. Hey, we got one. Hey, we got one. Uh,. Be wounding on four as soon as I think you're Yes, yeah, T4. Four wounds. A AP of one and one damage. Yeah, it's okay. On a four. So one of these guys right. over here hiding behind the corner. All right. Uh, I will, I believe, dump out the sorcerer because we're kind of all hands on deck here because somebody put a warden in my next to my deployment zone. Um, so we will do this and put our... Oh, the solar for cannon can be in the back, but we want the flamethrowers to be up here. Uh, 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 uh. Hope this isn't like gratuitous overkill, but we'll see. Uh, and then this sorcerer can slow that guy down. Yeah, that feels okay. Okay. Um, let's do. Is, ev is everyone going to focus on the? Warden? Uh, not everybody, but we'll see what we need to do. I will... Uh, that will be my movement, so I'll go to shooting. Or I guess these guys could move now that you've overwatched, but I don't know if I need to. I guess I'll just uh, stand behind this wall so the line of sight is slightly harder. Uh, Infernal Master will go here, and we just don't want to be engageable through the wall. So something like this. Uh, all right. Um, I'll, I'll do my psychic stuff. I will use Araman's free ability to take the armor save off of the uh, warden. Does that do anything? No, because you're just going to rotate. Yeah, no, it literally doesn't do anything. Uh, um, except for Magnus's gun. It's... At this point, most of your weapons, if they are gonna wound that. Uh, yeah, it's not my AP one, like not cover ignoring doesn't go through it. Oh, let's roll this guy's uh, movement decreasing thing out first. It's on a two plus. He did it. So we have movement on the um, armature warglaive up there from the exalted sorcerer. And then we decide if twisting does anything. Uh, I think. I think that it's that or do some mortal wounds. Honestly, the mortal wounds are probably better. So let's do, we'll do a doom bolt for free into the ward end from Aramon. So it does some number of mortal wounds. We'll roll a two plus to see how many. We rolled a one, so it takes D3, two damage, but you can feel no pain. All right, six up, feel no pain. So six, roll. I try that one. So... Great, great. Well, that was a great use of that ability. Uh, we'll do the a double move, and we'll put Aramon's unit in the middle. Are you sure about that? I don't. Oh, I'm very sure. Uh, you... I don't think I need to be on the objective, because you could just get overwhelming force, and that would be awkward, so we're not going to do that. Just be off yeah. of the objective. Uh, go there. And we'll go in the middle. These two guys will go here. And Armand himself is very fast. He can go wherever. He'll just go find this thing. Go where his line of sight. Okay. Um, shooting. Uh, do we have any other double moves you want to do? 
we could skeek the sorcerer back. That would be kind of cool. I think we will do that. Uh, yeah, I'm down to one, but it doesn't matter. We also push the cultists forward. That's the other option. Which does make your conflagration cannon really weird. But actually, it's probably fine. You just go there. Um, and this guy goes six. Oops. So he could only charge Dude. them. That's actually, fine. I will do that. I'll, I'll move the... I still spend the points. I won't move the sorcerer. I'll move the cultists and get in your way. Uh, but there's no reason to touch the objective. So I'm not going to do it. Okay. Uh, let's do shooting. Um, I'm going to shoot these three dudes at the warden. Do you want to rotate? Hmm. Depends what guys are going to shoot at him. Uh, these guys. Are you going to shoot anyone else at him? Well, I, I don't know yet. We go one at a time. So, <laughs> so I don't have to tell you where my other guys are shooting. Just one unit at a time. And we're going to overcharge his flamethrower. And they're all just going to do their normal guns. I don't think I will this time okay uh so the uh soul reaper cannon hits on threes okay wounds on sixes that's uh, a devastating wound uh yeah, so there that's a feel pain one nope. damage uh the little baby smite off of the aspiring sorcerer i should have put magnus within six of that unit but i forgot um baby smite go Two hits, uh, and sixes, nothing, and no rerolls. The his little flamer, whoosh, one shot. What a time to be alive! And then the big flamer from the Infernal Master. Oh, geez, this is not going great. Uh, I'll flip one of these to a six, so it'll be two mortal wounds or two devastating wounds, I should say. And then save um... five barrels. I do great. <laughs> Well, you take my wounds off, right? Cool. Uh, I'll shoot everything from this unit at him. Uh, do you have any AP on these? Uh, they're AP 1, ignore cover, and uh, they can get AP 2 if I roll critical wounds. They get plus 1 I AP and criticals. I will do rotate iron field. Okay. Uh, the Soul Reaper cannon. Here it is. Uh, misses twice. Uh, uh, one devastating wound on you from that thing. And then all the flamers are going to be the same, so I'm going to roll all of them together. Four flamers. Dean shots. Um, sixes, rerolling ones. So four on your inbound, AP2. Four on that. Uh, four pin rolls. One damage each. Two. One damage each. Yep. Uh, Fiona Perrin. Nice. Makes one. We have one. Very good. Uh, the baby smite from the sorcerer misses everything. Uh, and then the regular sorcerer's casino gun. See what he wants to do today. Oh, I guess he also gets to shoot his flamer pistol, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because his is a pistol. So here's his flamer pistol. Five shots. I could have rolled it with the other one, but I didn't. Uh, uh, that's one more on your invuln. The casino gun. Ten. It's fine. Excellent. All right. So uh, we shoot ten times. Hits on twos with sustain three. So we miss once, but we get six additional hits from the two sixes that I roll. And then I'm just looking for sixes, I guess, because you are a big dude and I'm just a little baby boy. So here we go. Bunch of sixes, please. You're rolling ones. <laughs> okay. Uh, one devastating wound on you. Six of fin open. Yep. Yeah, let's go. Uh, all right. 
the uh, rubric squad back here. We'll do... Actually, to be fair, we could just do Magnus, but he could shoot over here if we get super lucky. So yeah, we'll just do the rubric squad over here. I'll overcharge the Screamer invocation on the uh, Infernal Master. So it is going to be four flamers, including the little BB flamer for 12 shots. Oops, don't want to roll that. Uh, and then it is um, sixes, re-rolling ones. So that's four saves on your invuln, please. Four saves on my involve. Makes one fail. One damage. Or makes three fails. Yep. And then the um, little smite from the sorcerer, which does get plus one to hit because Magnus is there and plus one to wound. So wounds on fives now. Uh, just one devastating wound. And then the Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper, go. Uh, misses one. Wounds on sixes. Nothing. And then we are off to the Infernal Master. So let's see what he gets. 2d6 shots for overcharging. Okay. Uh, it's strength six, so we're running on fives because Magnus is standing next to us. And I'll flip one of these to a six. So it's gonna be oh, and I get reroll ones. I'm sorry. So I have two. I got I rolled two ones. So it's gonna be um, four devastating wounds and five saves on your inbalm. They're all one damage. Okay, so evolve. Oof. So that will be yeah, eight. Eight. All right. Oh, Magnus, you might get to shoot an Armager after all. Uh, over here, we'll just do this Infernal Master. Actually, we'll do the Rhino in case we, like, randomly boss you. Uh, all of his weapons will be the same against you, so I'm just going to roll them all together. He gets six shots from his Blast. Let's go. And then he has two Combi Bolters, so he gets another eight because we're in Rapid Fire range. Hits on threes. Wounds on sixes. Nah, we didn't do anything. All right, fair enough, Rhino. Good effort. Uh, all right, so we'll do the um, Arcane Vortex guy into the night. Oh, but before I get too far, I'm going to roll uh, Hazardous on this Infernal Master. Uh, he's okay. Uh, just, we'll just roll out this Exalted Sorcerer in case he bosses you too. Man, I'm really bad about keeping all my guys in Magnus' aura. So he has a Flamer for D6 shots. His, his Psychic Flamer, four shots. Uh, on sixes, probably. No. All right. And then the Infernal Master guy, or the Arcane Vortex guy. We'll just roll out his flamer and see what happens. Seven shots. Uh, it is strength seven, so it wins on fives. Three rolling ones. And I can turn a fail into a six, which I will. So that'll be four devastating wounds and three saves AP two, so on your inbound, at two damage each. It's fun and he has some... Yeah, so be eight feel no pains, I guess. Eight feel no pains. Makes only one. We so got him. Blow... Does he blow up? Is the question. That would be a bad for me. That would be an extremely good explosion for you. Woof. Woof. DP read all that. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh <laughs> that was uh <laughs> like half my army. <laughs> I was in range of that guy. Uh, all right. So I will shoot Magnus. I'll spend a CP to reroll Magnus's attacks, and he'll shoot at this Armager Warglaive. We'll see what we get. Um, he has his little baby gun, which shoots D6 plus three. So six times. He hits him on twos all the time and rerolls. And then it's strength five, but it gets plus one to wound all the time, so it wins on fives. Uh, and it's AP sucks, so I'm just gonna fish for devastating wounds here. Uh, my yeah. All right, so just uh two sets of devastating wounds. So he's got is he the minus one damage guy? No, the minus one damage guy. Is oh, this guy. is this guy okay? It's so and to take damage up there. Yeah, so it's two devastating wounds for two damage each from his little gun. Uh, 
Um, so that that would just be that would just be four damage, right? Yeah. And then we'll see if his what his big gun does. It's three d three shots, two three, and one for that. It's for a total of six. Hits on twos. We're rolling for my strat. Uh, strength nine with plus one to wound, so it should wound on fours. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, sure. So, two devastating wounds for three each, and then four saves at EP2. So they would be on your four up, I think, because you're in cover. Oh, man. Uh, well, we're rolling super good today. Uh, so those are three damage each, so it would be a total of 15, I think because of the devastating wounds. Magnus, calm down, my dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was more than I expected out of you, buddy, but that is how he works sometimes. Uh, these guys will just shoot the green guy uh, with everybody. All of their flamers are going to be the same, so I'm going to roll them all together. They have 10 d6 for 3d8. That's way too many. What am I doing with my life? Uh, okay. Uh, and then Aramon gives them plus one to wound, and they're normally wounding on sixes, so they'll wound on fives. And then because you control an objective, they get to reroll. And uh, the sixes get plus one AP. So I have nine AP one, and however many this is, uh, 10 AP two onto the armature. So, 9 AP1, so 4 ups. Okay, <laughs> Compare that to the Exocrine, yeah. Well, at least Magnus is like five times as many points as an Exocrine and costs a CP to shoot every time. Thanks. Sucks. Uh, cool. So, that's just one damage each. So, three damage from those. And then uh, 10 AP2. Yeah. Hey, yeah. all right. Sick. So, that's two. So 10 AP2, so five ups. Yep. Oh my god, this guy. He doesn't want to go down. He just doesn't even care. So that oh. would be five going through, right? Because you made five of them. I like the badge oh. in my chat. The, like oh. Everyone's badge icons are broken too. It looks very strange. It just tells me what so the name is. Five, so five. Okay, uh, I have the little smite from the sorcerer, which probably won't do anything because it misses once and fails to wound. Oh, but I reroll because you're on objective. Still fails to wound. And then Aramon has his cool big gun, which hits on a two, uh, wounds on a four because you are. On a, uh, I have plus one to wound, so rerolling because you're on the objective. One wound, EP one. Uh, from which you'll get cover, so you'll just be on your three up, I think. All good. Thanks, cool. All right. Well, Armon, that wasn't the greatest showing, but the rest of the army did stellar, so I can't really complain. That is my whole turn. Uh, I will get assassination because I killed your character, and I will get bring it down for two, five, it's six, good. seven, eight. I think I'll just max it. Right. Okay. And that is my turn. Uh, you get all the primary in the world? Yeah, 15 primary. E. Primary. <laughs> uh, onwards tacticals. So. Area denial and tempting target. Area denial is easy. Uh, tempting target, I guess we'll pick this one. All right. Don't have any bondsman abilities. And I think this one just wears back off. Yeah, just watch out. If you move him, I'll overwatch him. He's probably better off just, like, standing there, honestly. Yeah. Because these are all flamethrowers. That would be scary. Yes. 
If I were to move any of these guys, I'd be probably moving these guys into the key. So nothing else up there, so movement. Um uh, this guy has just one to charge, so yeah, he probably make it something to charge. So I, I I get the like my biggest benefit is if I'm shooting someone on an objective. If you put this guy over here, like there, I can only overwatch him with a couple guys because the building blocks my line of sight, and I don't get rerolls because I'm not on any. So I'm, he's not on an objective, so I'm like definitely not gonna overwatch him. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna go there. Yep. Um, this warglave is going to move for. 13 inches that he has to mm -hmm. go. And this guy will just move over here so you can get a blind size on you guys. Yep, seems good. And time for my Valiant. So... Another thing. Uh, you put a 9-inch oars on the guys in your back. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't think you can put your big base in there. Unless you can. I'm gonna see if I can try. Yeah, might as well measure it. Ooh, he's falling. Okay. Uh, Congratulations, you have a knight. Well, you're off the table now, unfortunately. Maybe you can squeeze over a few rotations. Ooh, he good. is just squeezing in there. Oh, actually, this one's too big even. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, he is just in there. Congratulations. You have a knight in your back. I love it. So, um, I think I'm pretty sure I can accomplish our denial. Again this time. Yeah, if this guy just stands there, then you're fine. Yeah, okay. So, shooting phase... Mm -hmm. My valiant can't get his abilities out, so yeah. And plus, if I want, to, I could just eat him back out <laughs> if he loves. But all right, so shooting. Yep. Valiant, everything into max. Sure. So first gun on the list is Congregation Cannon. Three D six strength of. Eight, he has a toughness of 11, 11 so five AP of one and he ignores cover. Cool, okay. six. That's abysmal. Oh, I'll reduce damage by one, I guess. That was definitely always going to be the call. So, five. On old Maggie. Uh, just two. Two wounds. Two wounds. Save on threes. Okay. That's not a great start. Those are three damage. Is... Those are two. So, I'll take one each. Shield breaker. Missile launcher. Shield breaker. You... Prepare to get your you don't shield have... broken. You don't have any Titanic keywords, so... Correct. But I still be wondering. So threes wounds. He wounding you on three. This has an AP of six, and if it wounds on a six, it has to have the same wounds. Nice. And, um, I think I'll spend a command point to reroll that. Sure. Nice. Oh. Maybe a six. I save on a port. He's okay. Good. Oh, I mean, okay, so thunder coil. Fo uh, yeah, thunder coil harpoon. Big cool harpoon. Let's do it. Devastating wounds me. Do you want? Probably all of those. So wound you. Wounds. Yeah, it hits on a two, right? Yeah, hits on two, and I think wounds on the two, so... Yeah, strength 24? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It 12 wounds? damage. All right. Here we go. 12 damage. I have a, I have a four plus invuln save. Oh, I rolled a six. No! Magnus too strong! 
I've also, if oh. you don't, if you devastating wounds me, it's hilarious. But if you don't, I have a strat to turn a save, a failed saving throw to zero damage. So you could just like phase, phase away the harpoon. Unless you devastate me, and then I just take all of it, like a chump. When melt again, so hitting on threes. Hits. Wounds on fives. What's that wound? Um, twin siege cannons to the six. That is five. Wounding on. Oh, I forgot I could reroll. <laughs> Not again. Oh, that's right. Uh, it's um, probably fives, right? Strength six on the siege breakers. Yeah, and rerolling because of twin blink. Nice. Three. Three, if you have none. Uh, say one, twos. One goes through. What's the damage? And one. Okay, just take one. Ow. And since he shot at you, you're going to have to take a battle shock test. Okay. I'm on a five. He's okay. Okay, so... Armager Helmrin will open everything into Rubik Marines. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm shaking some rest shot. off of this action. Despite the fact that I played them like the other day, <laughs> like two days ago, I was like, Hitting on three, I should have put one on plus two, one, plus two movement on turn one, and then flipped it to minus one damage, but had more movement. Two wounds, eight PC. Oh, one damage turn. Into the rubrics. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take it on the guys in cover, so I save on fours. One guy's dead. Um, Heavy stubber, or his stubber, which are, you're well within rapid firing. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Wounding on four, so one AP of one. One AP one. I'm okay. Yeah, so. The Warglaive here will open up with everything into these guys. So first up will be his Thermal Spear, two shots, putting on threes, putting on hit. Wounds on twos. So yep. if I think about up to, you take that, yeah, minus four to AP. Yep. Yeah, minus four AP, so. I just have a uh, five plus invuln. One guy is vaporized. Turns Second, <laughs> next about the gun. Turns into a fine mist. Fails that. Nice. Tending to. So this guy can't see these guys, but he can see those guys all the way. Uh, yeah, he he can see these guys because you can measure from the front of your face like that. Okay. So if you wanted so to see those guys, you could shoot them. Warglaive into back uh, these back guys. Okay. Yeah, just watch out. If you want to charge, then I'll probably lose that guy, and then your charge would be tougher. So, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to open up the back guys. Okay. Sounds good. The third only gun I can hit with is the thermal get thing, so... Yeah. Hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Okay. They just not want those guys dead. Fuck me. Yeah, excuse, uh, sorry about my mental. Screws inch. <laughs> I'm ready for this flex master um, to come in chat. So I Start fluxing stuff are, up. That's the end of my turn, but there are going to be some. I don't own a flex master. If, if he's good, I'll have to print a flex master. Uh, Although I have like an STL for uh, these guys. For a disc. That would be a and I could put a little demon guy on it. That's probably really fine. Oh, actually, I think point tomorrow my the oath at the moment. So, if I want to charge with the guy over here, yeah, you could go there. It would just be a nine, and then you could fight me through the wall if you so yeah, desired. But, yeah, but due to the oath, it's an eight inch charge because I have one uh, at one. Oh, because you're plus one. Yeah, of course. Yep. Okay, so this Warglaive into the Green Squad. I love that I specifically didn't put these cultists on this objective, because I was like, Red there'll be an Arbiter Warglaive there. Nope. And the Valiant Killed it by accident, the, uh, and now I don't have an objective. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely going to lose my home. So, first up would be... 
I definitely moved Slappy. I could have screened that, but it's more fun this way anyway. Make a four inch charge. Well, yeah. technically, you need to three inch. Yeah, it should be easy. Ta da! Yeah, he is way in there. You've done it. There goes that guy, and this guy will need to make an all three inch charge. Mm hmm. He is in. Uh, Valiant's in these guys, so he needs to make an 8 inch charge. Sure. Rip. It's a 7. Do I have a gun in front? No, I think he used it to reroll the yeah. shield breaker shot. <laughs> yeah. Too weak. I'll Honest. get primary. Let's go. I really wish that made it. Then I, then I you would have done your oath thing. You would have been haunted. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so mad. <laughs> Did I get any... Oh, Ooh, it's, we're, thousand, we're getting am... thousand suns all up in here, chat. Well, you should be able to weather quite a bit. Please. Yeah, Dragon's frustrating. So, uh, this we're going into the back squad. But... That game on Monday when he like went into uh, so the Forge Fiend or whatever, doing... and I was like, all I need you to do is one damage, and he just almost didn't do it. And I was like, we... you motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it, Trigon. Um, Hitting on threes, I believe, wounding on twos, AP of two, damage one. Uh, If you do the little swing, yeah. Uh, he's doing the the small, the strike or the sweep? Uh, the little, yeah, the sweep would be the little one, right? Strike would be yeah. big chops. So, we want threes. Nice. Lose two, but that isn't much. I think, yeah, he's winning on two, so. Five, Five. wins, eight, yeah, two, yep. one damage. Uh, here's the Soul Reaper cannon. Oh, he saves. We're boss. And then him again. Oh, okay. What? All right. Take one damage, I guess. Good job, Soul Reaper Cannon. Okay. What is... Ever yeah. played Trigon Prime in ninth? Uh, um, occasionally, this squad, uh, this but very rarely. Every once in a while, I did. Because I liked it, but it was mostly because I liked it, generally. <laughs> I think I had, like, a weird Crusher Stampede yeah. list I played at one point with, like, a bunch of weird Trigons and shit. You will be swinging into that squad. That's once. Oh, I played the heightened senses, like full reroll one at one point. So that, guy, that one was six, cool. Heightened senses eight, nine, plus maw claws, where you, you reroll hits and wounds. Uh, okay, these are on five, just on flamer guys. I take three damage, or I take four. One, two, three, you four, five. Lose. And nobody's wounded, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and we'll take a wound over here. All right. Um, do you want to consolidate with that guy? You can come closer to me if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure this guy stays in combat. Cool. Uh, my I... swings. Oh, yeah. I'll do these guys. The regular rubric. Uh. Gets two hits. Wounds on sixes. Ah, oh, one wound. AP zero. Let's go. AP of zero. So. Yeah, just three ups. Three up. All good. Thanks. The aspiring sorcerer misses twice. Doesn't wound. And then the infernal master gets four. It's a special. He misses once, but he has sustained hits, so it comes back anyway. Wounds on fives. And I'm going to flip one of these to be devastating wounds with his special ability. So I'm going to deal you three mortal or three devastating wounds. Here you go. Start off one, so he's down Nice. Uh, these friends. I think it's more so the 
four. Two there. This guy is... Everybody's closer to this guy. So we'll just go in and hang out. Hello. Hi. Uh, let's do... How many rubrics do we have? One, two. One, two, three, four, five. So we get ten attacks. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives because uh, Aramon gives us plus one to wound. Two wounds. Mm -hmm. AP zero on the Warglaive. Blam. Blam. Yeah, we're just punching. Punching with our big fists. One damage. Let's go. Let's go. Well, let's see if the failed thing says anything about that. Yep. Amazing. You deal one damage. Uh, the Aspiring Sorcerer uh, it's one hit. And wounds, AP1. Okay, AP1. Four up. All good. Makes up. And then Aramon. It's five attacks. It's on twos because he's rad. And wounds on fours because of his cool thing. Oh, nope. We flubbed out super hard. Just kidding, Aramon. All right. That's all my fights. Um... Okay. So onwards to points. Return. Yep. So you'll get five for area denial. Five for area denial. I do not think I'll be able to get tempting targets. So I'll discard that for a command point. Love it. And yeah, I get full five for area denial. Cool. Nope. I do not get it. Oh. I don't get it, but I get three. Oh. So. Uh, oh, because I'm within six. Yeah, so... Oh, no, I have to be wholly within six inches, I think, to stop you. It's oh, no, one, Yeah, one of your units is wholly within six. No enemy units are wholly within six, and I'm not wholly within six, but you are, so you'll get it. Oh, okay. Yep, you so... get the full five. Uh, this card, the second one, for command point, so... Sick. All right. Um, I'll get five primary, draw cards, no prisoners, defend stronghold, uh-oh. <laughs> you ready to defend the stronghold, boys? <laughs> uh, all right. Problems you have to deal with. Let's do battle shocks. Mindless. These guys are still fine somehow. Everybody's fine. Um, yeah, oh, these guys yep. need battle shock. Yeah, you're going to... They will fail. They're so scared. Really scary. Yeah. You have uh, one massive problem at the back, so. And then Cobalt points. We'll get uh, four for Magnus, three for each Infernal Master unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three for Armon. So th uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17. So we have 21. That's a lot. We're going to do so many magic spells this turn. Just you watch. Uh, all right. These little dudes are going to advance. Wee! Seven inches. What a time. Does this go through the wall? It does. We can hold it with the rhino. Wee! Uh, so that gets me there. Just hug the wall. This rhino will just go there. Um, let's see the oh, I'll just keep devastating wounds going, I guess. Um, let's push this unit over here. One, two. I think there's a universe where I like kill one of these before it's my shooting phase step. So we're just gonna have to fall back with those guys. That's probably fine. Uh, the rhino walk like this and stand in the way. Please don't go anywhere. Um, Just make it so the big bases can't go through my engagement range. The units, I guess, will just be as close as possible over here, just like that. Uh, this unit will come hang out with the Valiant. Hello. And it'll be an 
damage off the wall. So yeah, I overwatch. Oh, right. Yeah. Still Titanic. Yeah. Yep. That was the, the change uh, two weeks ago or whatever. Titanic units can't overwatch anymore. Big Sag. Uh, Magnus. I think Magnus is going to come chill with you. And be like, what's up, dude? How you doing? I'm and trying to kill you. Infernal Master is going to come and shoot that guy. Uh, these guys can't get close enough. So I will probably just put this guy here, and this guy won't get to shoot, which is sad. Uh, do I need to slow the movement of every, anybody? Maybe this armager. Um, yeah, that sound kind of makes sense. So he'll go here. Uh, these guys will fall back. Right. Actually, that might just stay there and beat on you for a while. Uh, this unit will fall back, though, because I'm pretty sure you're just going to murder it if I don't. Run away, run away. We can't make all of our saves a second turn. All right. Um, magic spells. I'll pay nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to twist of fate this guy. So he no longer has an armor save. And then so I will pay. Actually, once again, does that do anything? Because you have a two plus. Not my dudes with on sixes anyway. Actually, no, yeah, it literally doesn't do anything. I'm just going to do a Doom Bolt. Uh, Doom Bolt. Do a bunch of mortal wounds. Blam. Uh, it does D3 plus three. So five mortal wounds, please, to the Valiant. Uh, feel no pain. Oh. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Start buff one. Before we go through, uh, I'll use the Lord of Forbidden Lore to do it again. Down to seven. Uh, here we go. Goes D3 plus three. How many? Four more mortal wounds, please. And then I'm going to spend five. Let's hold up two. I'm going to move these guys a second time so they can get around this wall and they can see the armature and they can shoot him with their flamers and stuff. This guy goes six because he's cool. And he goes five. Okay. Um, shooting. Uh, I guess this guy's also going to do his move less thing on you before we go too far. So half movement and charge rolls on the war glaive. Shooting phase. Uh, I will shoot the... Um, I'll just start shooting dudes at this Valiant, I guess. So the uh, rubric squad here. All the regular guns, he'll overcharge his flamer into the Valiant. This guy will shoot his little two dam his little baby smite into this Warglaive, I think. Um so it is Oh, I guess this guy needed to be here. It is Shoot that guy? Uh, I guess not. So a Soul Reaper Cannon, a Flamer, and the Infernal Master into the Valiant. So the Soul Reaper Cannon. Uh, has sustained one, so these explode. Wounds on sixes. We're rolling ones. Okay, good good effort. Uh, the flamer. Three shots and sixes. Sixes. Nope. And then the infernal master. Two d six. Oh my god, guys, come on. Uh, uh, we're rolling ones. I do have plus one to wound, so I wound on. Th Fives, thanks to Magnus, and I'll flip one into a devastating. So one save at AP two, uh, that you'll have cover against, and then one uh, devastating wound. Uh, up, so... Yep, all good, and then just the one devastating. That was unfortunate. Yeah, no. one damage. We did it. Uh, this exalted sorcerer. 
We'll do his flame burr onto this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to shoot the little the little baby smite from the sparring sorcerer. Pew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy will shoot his flamer at the armager. D6. One shot. Jesus Christ. One wound. AP2. No cover on that guy. Uh, AP0. Yep. Okay, so three up. Not fair. Ooh, D3 damage. Up. Two damage. It, okay, it shrugs off one. Okay. Can you do it again? No. Wait, not? We but, did one. Uh, is it this one? It was this guy right here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, these little dudes are going to shoot the Valiant. Uh, I have a uh, Soul Reaper cannon, which just gets that. And one devastating wound from the Soul Reaper cannon. Uh, I'll and use all it should be five flamers altogether with the regular flamers because of the two one pistols. Devastating yeah, just uh, one devastating one so far. Not... Save it. Uh, sixes. Two more AP twos on you, good sir. I believe I get cover, so that knocks it. Uh, down. no, it's a flamer, no cover. These these guys aren't giving you cover anyway. They can see. Okay. Yeah. So four ups. Oh, there you go. Makes them both. All right, fair enough. And then the casino gun. How many shots? Four. All right. We've uh, struck out on the slot machine today. Uh, wins on fives because of Magnus. Yep, first with me. Or hits on twos with sustain two. And then wins on fives. Uh, rolling ones because I'm a river marine. Nope, didn't matter. Uh, so one devastating wound and one save at AP one, I think. Yeah, just AP one. Okay, three up. Cool. Exit and six up. Nice. Exit. We're slowly getting them. And then the little baby smite from the source, the sparring sorcerer. Blomp. Uh, one hit. One wound. AP two, I think, from that guy. Exit. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it is in fact actually AP three, but you rolled a six, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. These guys will shoot. We'll do all the... I don't know if I rolled hazardous for this guy, so I'm going to do that real quick. He's okay. Um, all of these dudes into the Helvrin. I I'll will overcharge my thing. Then a uh, command point on rotate on shields. Rotate it? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right. The We'll just see if the Infernal Master just gets you, because he might just do that. He shoots eight times. Winning on fives. Rerolling because you're on an objective, which is good because I rolled like dog shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, so we'll do flip one to a six and do four devastating wounds to you. Four devastating wounds. Make that Save. two. Oh. All right. Uh, the flamers, I'll win you on sixes. So I'll roll all the flamers together. It should be four. One, two, three, four. Uh, how many shots? 14. On sixes, re-rolling. That is four saves, AP2. One damage each. That, that is... Yay, we, we did it. Does he explode? Nope. I don't... I'm kind of hoping... Alright. No! Nice. nice. Alright, uh, I think that leaves us with a Rhino and Magnus. Cause these, oh, these guys have pistols, I think. Yeah, I have a Warp Flame pistol and Aramon's pistol. Uh, so the baby pistol. Many shots, just one on a six. Nope. And then his little smite hits and doesn't do anything, but it reels ones. Ah, one devastating wound. Let's go onto the Warp Flame. <laughs> and then Aramon's regular ass pistol. Oh, wounds also. One AP yeah, one. Sure. Let's it go. Charge off first uh, thing. Yeah. So, yeah. AP one. Ah, he's fine. Yeah, he's good. Uh, this the rhino will just shoot this guy with everything. Uh, here's his bolters. Miss a bunch of times. We're on sixes. One AP one on this dude. And then the explodey gun. Says uh, bolters. Okay. Well, three hits and fives. One more AP zero over here. 
Uh, Says up. Says we're so good. Uh, Magnus will do the CP to reroll everything because he rules. Shoot his little baby gun at the Valiant. Eight shots. Uh, that's yep. eight. Nice. We are on twos. Rerolling. Winning on fives. Uh, do I fish here? I think I do. Let's go fishing! Oh! So good. Eight devastating wounds, please. Drugs are fun. And then the the big laser beam, the big eye laser. Oh my god, Magnus is going absolutely ham today. Roll seven yeah. shots on dudes. Oh boy, rerolling. All right, what a conversion. And then wounds on fours because I have plus one to wound. Rerolling. Uh, uh, so it's nine devastating damage and four saves at AP two. Okay, so the four says any here? Two. So it'd be on four ups. So two goes. Two. So he'll, he'll take fifteen total. So the next video. Ah, Magnus, you're such a fucking Chad. Jesus Christ. Does he? For the love Just laser of the beam knights. Does he death. explode? Pew, pew, pew. Mm. Too strong. Mm. He rolled a five. Oh, that would I suppose it would be great. Uh, I, all right, that's it for me. I, I don't, I'm not gonna charge. I am very mad. Not like mad at you, but I'm just mad at David as well. Yeah, um, yeah. All of your night explosions would have been great because they're just in the middle of my army. <laughs> oh god. Um, do you want to hit me with this war glaive? Uh, sure, why not? Get him. Um, I'll do strikes as they have more like a chance of wounding or something. Yeah. Two wounds. Jeez. Wounding on twos. Yep. Both uh, wounds. Uh, I save on fives for my invuln. Two guys die. One's wounded already, so that's this guy, and then another Borg Flamer. Ouch. Okay, I don't think that war guy would match any better. Yeah, I moved out of melee with him. With him. Okay, so I think I might try. Wait, is it? Uh, uh, pass the turn to me. Yep. Yeah, I just count my kills. I got two because I killed this guy and this guy, so I get four for no prisoners. And then pass it to you, and you get ten points. Oh, I have to hit you. Sorry. Let me just roll my attacks here. Yeah. Here are my rubric marines. Trying to punch my shins. Ah, two wounds. Let's go. <laughs> AP zero. Ah, uh, all right. My cool stick from my uh, aspiring sorcerer hits every time. What a boss. Uh, that is one wound, AP one, from the aspiring sorcerer. Or up. D3 damage for two damage on you. So, uh, funeral frames. Yep. Shrugs off one. And then Harold misses twice because he's a uh, chud. And one wound AP1 from Ahriman. You're okay. All right. Good effort, team. Okay. So, let's see. Oop. Yeah, yeah they're locked I, up. I have straw to. Okay, so Extend battle lines. To start. Oh, that's easy. You just like, basically have those already. If this guy just falls back here, then you have all of them. Pretty good. Can I fall back? Yeah. I think I will fall back. Literally just shot a I'm bolt of doom out of do. the sky. Fucking right, dude. So good. You know what? Let's do it. Thousand Suns have so many, like... Thousand Suns is just, like, the anime faction. 
where they have all these like ground Large pounding like kamehame uh effects where they're just like or again your evacuation target will be half the number of units from your army that are on the battlefield at the end of the battle but rounding up including units embarked within transferring miles blah blah, blah. It is less than four increase it to four at the end of each year Oh wait. Yeah, gamuts are Damn it. Can't do that until like fifth turn. Well yeah, you, you like I think you draw it at the end of this battle round, and then you can complete it end of game. But it's like you can score a million points on it, but you have to give up your primary objective scoring for a couple turns, which is the awkward part. You know, I'm not going to talk to Tom Pick. I think I can push this through. So, command, movements, falling back with this. World yeah, Tyranid Psychic was awesome. Tyranid Psychic was like, so, it was so toolboxy. That's what and I liked about it. I think I'll move this. Honestly, down. I like the Thousand Suns Psychic better in 10th edition, because I think Thousand Suns and like Grey Knights were just like too complicated. The unit Psyker factions were too complicated. But the ones where they just cast a bunch of like offensive spells are okay. And that is it for my moment, guys. So we're going to do a shoot scene. Cool. Um, same I miss like Eldar Psychic. The new guy, Eldar Psychic um, feels so bad. Since he fell back. No, you can't shoot or charge unless you have a special ability. Okay, so this Warglaive will shoot into this squad. Yep, the unit that's almost dead. Yeah, so he'll do his Thermal Lance, sending on threes, winning on two. Mm hmm. Axe on three. And winning on twos. Nice. And both. You probably got your involved. I have a five plus inbound. They both go through, so my two regular dudes die. Goodbye, regular dudes. Time for my singular meltagon. Hang on Bloop. through. Good start. One on a two. Yep. All right. Infernal Master, what do you got? Oh, he got a six, because he can change a dice to a six every turn. Well, look at that. Okay, so no more shooting to be had, but there is charging. Man, Infernal Masters are so good. That's This unit's still worth 90 points 100% of the time. this... This board glaive will charge into the rhino. And you know what? I'm gonna charge into these group of people. Yeah, you got it. Just yeah, tank so... shot this guy. Just get rid of him. Bloop. Tank shot. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Um, I'll try to charge into the rhino, Infernal master, and. Each. Yep. Uh, All three. Yep. So. Yeah, he's in. He is definitely in. Yeah, he's in. Okay, so where is Tank Shot? Uh, tank Shot. Tinky. What does that do? Marrow. She says. Until the end of phase. You can charge like one enemy unit. I love oh, her. Oh, these are Okay, I can barely read that. Look at this kitty cat. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. She's okay. I'm just gonna respawn the cards. Oh no! Tank shot. Hi. So, I'm gonna grab some names. Here's. Okay. Uh, we'll just um, until the end of the phase, I'll be like having a stuffed animal that walks fishing. around my house. She's so fun. I love you, Winky. Six, is it? You feel kind of spelt today. What's up with that? Oh, it's because I gave you Some wet food yesterday. It's dry six, food, so you're not as bloated. Plus, you roll. But that's what it is. Aw, look at you. What a so, kitty. Yeah, roll a piece. So yeah, I'm just gonna come out on Tank Shark, and it's gonna go into the Rhino. Making sure. So roll D6. 
Hi, kitty. Yeah, you're so cute. I love you. Roll to do strength. Yeah, this guy is so cute. So, strike. So that's ten. Activator ten. But Surely that thing's gonna probably gonna die. So he is dealt or is that the infernal master? Uh, I'm doing tank shot into the rhino. Oh, on the rhino. Okay. It was four. Yeah. Uh, you if your strength is higher than my toughness, you roll an extra two. So I think you roll twelve to total. So I think you get to I roll need... two more. Okay. No, never mind. Okay, so yeah, I could do that. You know what? I'm gonna do sweep into the group that Armand's leading. Okay. Do you want to put any attacks into the Infernal Master? Just kill him. He has one wound left. This guy. Um, five into Armand's group. The other two into the. Uh, three into the sorcerer. Yep, you got it. So two hits, wounding on twos. Two, save on fives. One goes through, so they will take one. Okay, uh, so, so just take one. Other three will go into the sort inferno master. All hit, all wounds. All right, he's dead. Got him. And yeah, now if you shoot, your minus one head bang, you got the has to roll. Oh wait, I have to do um that around, yeah, so ten points. Fight. I do extend battle life. So I get B four five. Yeah, I get five for this. Uh, and... oh yeah, let me let me fight you real quick first. Yeah, uh, I get five for these guys would have to go this way, so they're just gonna chill for a bit. Uh, so two rubrics, uh, two wounds on the wargrave right here. No AP. So. Saving on threes. Nice. Save one. one damage. And then Harry Man. Two, three, four, five. On. Oh my god, Armand, you suck so hard. One wound, AP1. Okay, one wound, AP1. Bonk you with a stick. Now nah, you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. So I believe I get fire for both. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, so you get 10 points. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know. I don't have fun with this. All right. Uh, oh, these are already gone. I'll get three for different stronghold because I have my objective at the end of your turn. And then, uh, is that my turn? Do we need to take morale for Haramon now? My auto pass, honestly. So I will hold this and this. So I will get 10 regardless. And we draw a capture enemy outpost, storm hostile objective. Ooh. Um, ah, you got way too much OC over there. Storm hostile objective should be easy, though. Um, yeah. I will pay a CP so that Armand's unit doesn't run away. And I'll roll again for the uh, cultists who are fine this turn. Um, and we'll generate Cabal points. So I will get... Three for this unit, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus Magnus is 16. 16. Okay. Um, I will. I have to bring my Flux Master down this turn because it is battle round three, so that's what we're going to do. I uh, managed to keep this on him. And because I didn't declare, I was changing it earlier. 
So he will go eight inches and three inches and three more inches. He's gonna come hang out with this guy, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a talk, me and you. He's gonna be gonna be like, why don't you have a seat, sir? What were you gonna do here today? Um these guys are gonna come hang out on this objective. But not as so much to actually take it. We just wanna be there when you die. Which hopefully will happen soon. And here's the Infernal Master. These guys will do an advance. Whee! Six inches. Holy crap. Go all the way over here. There's nine. And we get three more. Okay. Um, the disc guy... These guys will all come hang out and probably just try to flamethrower that dude really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and these guys will walk around the corner here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Six inches. Okay, uh, reinforcements, uh, I guess the Rhino, I can't really go anywhere. The Flux Master, it arrives. He's going to flux you up. Look out. Go there. Uh, all right, shooting. Uh, I will shoot. The uh, purple unit. Oh, I guess I could move my exalted sorcerer first. Students get him out of the way here. I'll shoot the purple unit into the armager in melee. Uh, I have a mini smite that's a pistol. In fact, all my psychic powers here are pistols, which is kind of cute, so I don't get minus one to hit. Didn't really matter, I still missed anyway. Uh, wounds on uh, five because I have Magnus next to me. Didn't matter. I do reroll ones though. Still didn't matter. Um, my flamethrowers. I should have five of them. Whoosh. Ooh, that's a lot. 22 shots. On sixes. Rerolling ones. Rerolling I am ones. praying to the Emperor. This thing explodes. <laughs> uh, five AP uh, two. So that's four ups. Yeah. Uh, should be five ups, right? AP two. So five ups. Just one damage each. Okay, so that is three six of fill up fans. Nice. How much damage? Uh, just one each. So that would be three total. Uh, and then the Soul Reaper cannon. On fours, because you're in melee. Just go away. These are lethal, actually, which I haven't rolled a single one of yet. And then that one fails. So two AP one from the Soul Reaper. One damage each. So he is down three health. And then the casino gun. Two D6 shots. Oh! We've gotten all the little cherries on the slot machine this time. Uh, wounds on fours, because Magnus is next to me. I'm sorry, wounds on... Yeah, fours. Blam! Or hit. We got a hit, though. Got it rolled a hit first. There's my sustains. These miss. And then we are winning on fours. Ooh. So, five devastating wounds and seven EP1. That's the casino gun. Getting all good rolls. Oh... Uh... Four and wounds is up. Yeah, it was five devastating wounds, so it would be eight damage total. Seven. Six ups. And I'll let go. That guy's done. All right, here's the explosion. Ready? He's going to do it, I believe. Oh, okay. I'm going to spend a CP to see if that explodes. Don't care if it's on tactically savvy. I want to have an explosion. Uh, 
Uh, no, this guy can't shoot. So these guys will shoot this guy. Um, I have four flamers. I am not a happy camper right now. <laughs> I had seven explosions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all your units have died in the middle of my army, and none of them exploded. Uh, I reroll my wound rolls, because you're on an objective. So, we have five saves, AP2, onto this blue guy right here. One damage each. So, yep, three damage. Three are all MVs, or six up. Ooh, we saved So, up. yeah. So, we take, take two from that. The eight, Soul Reaper. Seven... Uh, rerolls because you're on objective. One devastating wound from the Soul Reaper. With the little baby smite from the other dude. Uh, just one hit. And no wounds, but we reroll. Wounds again. And then the cool Arcane Vortex gun. Overcharging, of course, because that's how we do. Five shots. Uh, he shows off the wound from the Soul Reaper. Okay, cool. Uh, Arcane Vortex Gun, wounds on fives, rerolling, and then this one turns into a six. So that is six devastating wounds and two saves AP2. So two wounds on five ups. So that would be a grand total of ten damage. So ten funeral pains up in head. Way to go, cool Arcane Vortex Gun. So he shrugs off four, so he is alive with one rune remaining. Oh. Alright, I for didn't put my Flex Master in line of sight. But Magnus, Magnus will get him, I believe. Shoot your little baby gun. Uh, I'll just screw, I guess. Please, 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 ever let this explode. <laughs> <laughs> A million shots with this baby gun. Uh, nice machine spears be so vengeful it explodes. Uh. Six devastating wounds and two saves AP1 from the little gun there on the armature. So, six devastating wounds. Mm hmm. All right. It, it this is the one, I believe. Oh, yes. we got one! <laughs> oh. Hey! Finally. Uh, we do miss this guy, but it does hit these two units. Who is first? So it has threes. So on uh, so say green, I guess. Green guy. The yeah, wounded guys. Guy. Yeah. Two. So Good turns this dude and this guy's wounded. And then on and... red guys. Red guys. Oh, the big three. So we'll lose a flamer and one guy's wounded. Ouch. Yay. It oh. exploded. Good job. Good job, Armager. Uh, that's all my shooting. Because everybody else is hiding, so I will get five for Storm Moss Electric. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to accomplish much. Get a little thumbs and assassination. Yeah, I'll think I'll do it again, because neither of those are achievable. So well, the, this one, this one, you can get assassination, you just shoot that guy. <laughs> that one's easy. <laughs> I probably could. Um, oh, and you can discard engage in all fronts if you only have two units in your army. So you can cycle oh. engage, yeah. Oh. Oh, the other one. Yeah, cycle that, engage in all fronts. And then you had assassination. Yeah, you had this one. So. Okay, I don't think uh, I'll be able to do, do Storm Hostile yet. But I could probably uh, do this. Uh, if you just... They, these guys move 13, right? If you just stand him here, you take this objective away from me. Okay, so... Yeah. They're actually doing, looking like very good on score. <laughs> yeah, so that takes it. And then this guy's flying, so you wound him on twos. So you just... Uh, right. You just you just blow that dude up and you get both objectives. Yeah, this guy is going to fire everything into that trucker and if he doesn't die i am gonna yeah. and you also have you could you could peek this guy out over here too and i think shoot this guy who's another character so you could try to get him yeah so you have like okay. two shots at it yeah so two shots um 
Yeah, I'm gonna have this guy shoot that guy, this guy shoot the, that guy. Yep. Okay, so he has eight shots with his main gun, hitting on threes. Wounding on twos. Yep. Five. Wounds all. And it's AP1? Uh, he, with his main gun, it's AP1, but it's damage three. Okay. So I save on... I'm in cover, so it was, I save on threes, I guess. So I'll take three. It's okay. Okay. Oh! Uh, I can spend a CP to take zero from a failed saving throw, so I'll take three damage. Okay, so heavy stubber. <laughs> but please not with the stubber. <laughs> the dream, okay, the dream is alive. So four, four. wounds. Alright. Alright. We're just gonna roll these. Oh, he only takes one more. Oh. He lives. No. Can you kill the flex master? Okay, this guy into flex master. Yep. Um, Hitting on threes. Solid. And two. Uh, six. Uh, we'll do slow because I have my up. He has a dice fixing ability. So he has a four plus involve. Saves. Takes three damage. Uh, he'll turn that one to a six. Oh, okay, he dies. You got him. Yay. <laughs> um, can I? I think it about doing a charge. Because, like, yeah, he's not meant for melee, but... Yeah, it stops me from shooting you, because I can't fall back and do anything. And I can't kill you in one swing. So if you just engage these guys, you're, like, totally fine. Yeah, I'm going to engage the green squad. Yeah. The 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 uh, character in the red squad is actually, like, super baller, and he could randomly, like, and, like dice you out and kill you, but Aramon's not going to do it. He kind of sucks. Yeah, so... Ta-da! Yeah, he can do it. Very good. So, yeah, he has armored feet, so four attacks, hitting on three, wounding on threes. Mm-hmm. Four attacks, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Two wounds, if you're not. Two wounds. Uh, uh, one goes through, and I do have a wounded guy, so he's dead. Wow. All right. Killed more people uh, in melee than you're shooting. Yeah, I'll just, these guys will swing at you for all the good it's going to do me. Uh, uh, one rubric. Isn't it battle round four? Uh, it is. Oh, yeah, this was battle round four, right? Because I don't. Have we scored you for this round? We haven't, right? So you would get 10. Yeah, 10 yeah. for this. And then 10 for each of your other objectives. Um. Five for it? Yeah, five for Storm and five for Assassination. Okay, I am doing really well. And then, yes, uh, I'm swinging my rubrics. You failed. The other dude. Uh, it's two times. Wounds uh, both times. This one's devastating, actually. So it's just uh, one save at AP1 and three devastating damage. Onto the other one. Failed, so how much damage? Uh, that one is two, so that would be a total of five damage. And then Aramon. Ooh. So he shrugs off four of those. Oh, shit. Uh, three more saves AP1 from Aramon. So. Just four ups. So saves, four ups, saves one. Yeah. Uh, three damage each, so six damage. Oh, so I have the uh, one more. So down to five. Cool. All right, and then do you pass the turn to me? Yeah, I shall pass. Uh, draw one. Uh, I have extend battle lines, which I will get pretty easily. The armagers are eight objective control, right? Yeah, they're eight. Uh, we need to take a morale check for Aramon, which he passes, and for these guys, which they pass, and then for this guy, which he passes. So 
we'll get all of our cabal points. Three, six, nine, uh, uh, 10, 12, 14, 18 again. Um, I will move this. Um, I'll advance the cultists. Okay. Three inches. Uh, I will move this unit. Am I going to shoot with them? Probably not. Uh, so we'll advance this unit. Oh, so spicy. Go 11 like that. And I think what we're going to do... I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter where I stand. The this unit will advance. Two. So we'll go seven like this. I'll go an extra inch. Uh, this dude will just stay there. These guys will move out of melee so that I don't get murdered by. Or I can actually shoot my guns. I can go into cover. Our, our Magnus, go over here. I am just. Oh, I got ten points here. What's up? Oh. Uh, I can't. I'm hoping that the armager blades through this because. Oh uh, god, the point difference is so close. That would be pretty good for you. I'll only get one warp flamer in there. But in my casino gun. Yeah. And that guy. And then these guys will stand here. This guy will be on the objective. Magnus moved. This guy moved. Uh. Cause right now I just only have like two halverns out. Uh, what do I have to do here? I have to move. Oh, I might have to advance these guys. Yeah, I have to advance these guys. Ooh. How exciting. I'm going to overwatch the Halvren into Magnus. Sure. I mean, it's not the most natural thing right now, but do I have really much else? Yeah. Okay. So. Eight shots. Hey, two hits. And uh, two. Two. Yeah. I save on threes. Oh, ouchie. Take four because I have minus some damage. And the uh, heavy stubber. Little bitty gun. Little baby gun. Get him, little bitty gun. Just the one. And on twos because you're. Oh. That was okay. Weird. Uh, that did not make sense. Me. Try that one again. Yeah. Does the stubber win on two get anti fight too? Oh no, just the auto cannons. Yeah, yeah just. It has AP one, um, but it doesn't have anti fly because only the auto cannons get it, right? Uh, let me check. Uh, um, that means I can yeah. this guy actually, so that's good. And it's like it. All right. Uh, the other stuff. I need to be able to put you there. I think we can do okay so um rituals these guys are going to make themselves move five inches uh these guys are gonna make themselves move you can go six. Oh my god my mouse is having a little bit of a conniption right now do 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 do, 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 do. And then the Lord of Forbidden Lore can duplicate this the ability again. So he's going to do that. And he's going to spend my last couple points. And he's going to move them again. And they're going to go on to your objective. Give me that. That's mine. Um, And then we'll shoot. Magnus will shoot this armager with a bunch of guns. And reroll everything. 
Uh, his little baby gun. Ooh! Shoots nine times. On twos, re-rolling. On four fives, re-rolling. Ooh! Yeah. So, eight devastating wounds and two saves, AP1. So, seven devastating wounds and two saves. Yeah. Uh, so, that will be a total of uh, 10 damage. No, 12 damage. Damn. Why does my mouse keep sending me back? Okay, it is dead. We did it. Good job, Magnus. Does it explode? Please don't. Yay. No. That's just, for sure, would have killed that sorcerer. <laughs> uh, that is, I guess, oh, these guys advanced. These guys advanced. Uh, that's all the shooting I have. So I will yep. just score my objectives. I get extend battle lines for five. And I get capture enemy outpost for eight. Then I pass the turn. Uh, and we stole your objective. So uh, you shouldn't have any, I think. Because I, uh, I have nine OC here. Um, yeah, as a uh, long bug, I'll do a... I will do this one. Yeah, so Gambit's, I think you have to pull on round three. Because then you lose all your primary scoring for two for like two, the next two rounds, I think. Well, I don't think I'll be able to do much, but so I'll try to push them off my objective. Yeah, just try your secondary cards and see what we get. I'm hoping I gain something new and I'm good. Uh, hold on, deal. Auto lock. Overwhelming force and defense stronghold. Okay, uh, I can probably get one. Yeah, you could get. This is a character in the unit, so if he just shoots the entire unit to death, uh, then you get. Overwhelming force for sure. And probably defense stronghold, because I don't know if I can get over there. Okay, so. Yeah, it will open fire everything into there and see if I have any other shots. Gambits should have been. Something. Should have, say, have something for primary. You can get Bad 10 to 15 per turn instead of. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gambits should have a. They should just like change what your primary objective um, mission is or something. Instead of being like, ah, you get a billion points if you do like this funky, stupid thing. They should be like, instead of getting. Okay, I will act. I'll use one command point know. to use. I don't know what Gambit um, should have done, honestly. It's tough. Squire's Duty, which essentially during the beginning of either my shooting or fighting fit. Yeah, don't fit the requirements. Yeah, Dad. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you get plus one AP against me. Yeah, I was kind to, but it, it's requirements for it to have uh, two armor guards, which I don't have. Oh, yeah, it's two or more. Yep. yep, yep, yep. It's not up to two. Understood. Okay. Um. No, I can't do nothing. At most, I could probably do like command reroll and something. Yeah. So everything's that squad. Get them, and then you could charge and tank shock me too. Yeah. Or I could do a thunder stop and get does All right, hitting on threes, and I think I'm just toughness four, yeah. so winning on twos probably. Nice. I'll save on fours. We go through, so three of my dudes are dead. You're dead, you're dead, and you're dead. And heavy stubber. Hitting on threes. Hitting on fours. Two. Big one. Sorcerer's down to one. So it will charge. Yep. And I'm willing to spend a grand point. Mm -hmm. It is in. And you want to tank shot uh, me? Yeah, let's do the tank shots, I yep. think. So you'd roll Dude. six plus two for eight dice. 
and do mortal wounds on fives. So, my, yeah, I'm gonna do strike. So, 12 dice. Well, it's only eight, uh, right? Because you're only strength six. So, you're all however many right. for the tank shock. Oh, yeah, so it's whatever your strength is, and then if you beat my toughness, then you get two extra dice. So you're strength six, so you're all six dice. And strength six is higher than my toughness of four, so you get plus two. Okay, so that is eight. Oh, no! <laughs> That's a heartbreaker. CP re Can I CP reroll that? No. Unfortunately, it is not a uh, hit, wound, charge, uh, well, advance, saving throw, or well, something else. Hazardous or desperate escape, I think, are the uh, other things. Okay, I was saying what I will do is. Um, do yeah, gambits are really thunder trash. Stomp. You're not monster vehicles, but. I am not. So that's good. It gives you devastating. All hit, and I think they'll be running on threes. Three wounds, one death saying. Okay, uh, my right. saves. Your sorcerer does. Yeah. I make my armor saves, and, then, and the sorcerer eats the devastates and explodes. Um, so that is one for one kill for overwhelming force. You'd get three points there. Overwhelming force, and I think I take back my objective because I. That one is, uh, yeah, I honestly, I I could run Magnus over there. I don't know if it's going to make a material difference. So that is... You get three, three. and okay. that one will probably take up to three. I could contest it because it scores on my turn, but we'll see if that matters. Um, uh, I think this is the fifth round. Yep. The match is over? No, no, I'm, I, you went first, so I get another turn. <laughs> Okay, yeah. yeah. So I'll get 15 uh, unless on. I move up on uh, the objectives and then I'll get uh, what yeah. do I have? I'll deploy teleport homers like somewhere I could just do it with this dude in your deployment zone and then I have uh, behind enemy lines we'll see who's that one doesn't care about battle shock, right? So it doesn't matter yeah, think, my army really with it. yeah, so I'll I'll get behind enemy lines for any number of these two, so I'll get five for that. And that will be my the, final uh, score. Uh, that'll be your score? That's my score. Oh dang. Oh GG. Yeah, GG dude. All the yeah, armatures also, everywhere on uh, turn one is is tough. I gotta give you all the scores early so I can <laughs> fight my way back to the middle. <laughs> yeah. So, you win. Uh, I lost. That's a final score of 100 to 91. Uh, uh, this includes the 10 for painting, so it would be 90 to 81. 90 to 81? Yeah. So. GG's. Yeah, absolutely. Good game, dude. See you later. Yep. Have a good one. You too. All right. We did it. Yeah, pretty close. Um, Actually, sort of unironically kind of close. Uh, I was a little loosey-goosey because I... Um, yeah, because I wasn't paying attention, but we we're just I was just kind of flying through. But I uh, let the Valiant drop back there, which honestly was like more exciting. And ended up working out for me because it rolled bad, but I wouldn't have known if that was the case. Uh, I All I needed to do was put a Warflamer guy behind the building there, and I would have been fine. But that's okay. Didn't make a huge difference. Otherwise, pretty happy. I don't know if I should have pulled uh, Aramon out that early. But I also didn't know that he would do, like, Stone Cold nothing to the, the Halverin he shot. So, yeah, I forced, like, 18 or 19 saves on them, sort of thing, and he was fine. It's pretty good. The anti monsters harpoon has anti monsters with devastating things. Um. Oh, did he roll anti on me? Is that? Oh, so maybe he should have done more damage to Magnus. Mm. I don't remember what it rolled. 
That, that might be the case. Oh, it wasn't Adeptus Mechanicus chat. I didn't know what my opponent was playing when I set the things. It was actually it was Imperial Knights, actually. It says Adeptus Mechanicus, but it was actually Imperial Knights. Uh, which are pretty good scoring, to be fair. Inky, hello. Ah. Yeah, that's awkward. If he um, if he should have done the Devastate to Magnus, it would have been awkward. And then I, I play Magnus more KG instead of like running around the side to fight Armagers. Because he took some from the Armagers after that, right? I think that's all that changes. The Harpoon, yeah. He's pretty good. Let's look at let's look at your data sheet, my dude. It is anti monster for you're right, chat. Yeah, so I have no idea what it rolled. I'm always thinking of the regular devastating. I guess I don't actually play that many monsters that get shot by Valiants. Uh, every time I played a Valiant, I think I was like all infantry all the time. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good gun. Good stuff. All right, chat. He rolled a five. All right, well, fair enough. Yeah, when he blitzed the warden at me, I didn't. Uh, I, was, I didn't pay too much attention. I don't. I think the warden's probably fine, just like sitting here and shooting down the line. Um, I don't know if he needed to charge it there, turn one. I needed to just screen that because Magnus was safe otherwise. Inky, you're so loud. Trevi. The sun went down. It's time to hang out. Um, all right, chat. Well, thanks everyone for hanging out with me. Uh, we can raid, hopefully. So let's find somebody to raid. A lot of the people I oh Miniax playing a song of ice and fire. We'll give them a raid. That's cute. Uh, thanks for chilling with me, chat. I don't think I'm gonna be live tomorrow, but uh. I might be, who knows. Um, so yeah, anyway. I will see you all later. Cheers, everyone. And uh, have a good one.